This is Tom with your fishing report from the Northeast. With temperatures finally starting to look a little bit more like fall, sauger fishing is picking up on the Ohio River. Your usual spots would be behind the Greenup Lock and Dam, as well as any of the tributary creek mouths, and slightly up into these tributaries. Muskie on Cave Run is another good fall bet. Fish near weed bed edges are around some of the department fishing reefs with a double lot AC shiner. The trend is using something with both light and dark colors like a silver and black. Finally, don't forget our fall stocking of rainbow trout up Craney Creek in Round County. This little section of the Daniel Boone makes for some very scenic fall fishing. It's about a four mile hike to the back end and fish have been stocked all along this reach. That should do it for us, and with the weather turning colder, we remind you to let someone know where you are and when you expect to be home. And as always, remember to wear your life jacket out on the water. Hi, this is Kevin Fry with your Eastern Area Fisheries Report. Area lakes going through drawdown to winter pool, producing some good fishing for crappie. Upper ends of lakes in shallow water having fish caught on white, chartreuse, and black jigs. Cast to shoreline areas in any structure in shallow water. Catch has been particularly good at Car Creek, Dewey, Fish Trap, and Buckhorn Lakes. With fish trap lake down, hybrid striped bass have been more frequent in catches in lower lake areas near the dam now. Largemouth bass fishing reports have been fair to good in shallow water on points in main lake areas. Walleye anglers getting a few walleye at Car Creek Lake at around six to eight foot during the day. November trout tailwater stockings occurred on November 3rd at Dewey, Paintsville, and Yatesville. Buckhorn, Car Creek, Fish Trap, and Martins Fork Lake tailwaters will occur later in November. Hi, this is Eric Cummins, Barren River Lake. The lake is falling about seven inches a day and approaching about 20 foot below the summer pool level. So be careful out there on the waters. A lot of obstructions are now under the water or visible. Water temps on the lake are in the low 60s and bass action has picked up considerably with lipless crankbaits, crawdad jigs, fish real slow or no movement at all. Crappie have been good on brush and laydowns in about 8 to 10 foot of water with minnows and or jigs. Green River Lake fish the upper halves of the lake above the state park or Butler Creek areas of bass action has been good on lipless crankbaits and crawdad colored jigs. As always, good luck and good fishing. Be sure your life jacket's got your back.